Yo, that's alright, Smells here. Let's clear risk gate for the daily in Frost Covered Ruins. We're gonna pick five contracts and we're gonna take in a low rarity team and a Fiala with S3. Let's do this. Okay, first we're gonna bring in Myrtle to get us that much needed DP. And we're gonna wait for her skill to activate and then we're gonna bring in a Fiala immediately. I'm gonna bring her just to. Next to Myrtle over there. And then we're gonna bring in Orchid for some slows. And next up we can also bring in Ethan for some binds. I'm gonna have him next to Orchid there. If Yala will have her skill ready, we need to get uh, more DP from Myrtle. And we're gonna bring in Beagle on the left side. We have a Katana Boy on the right side. But should be good to go. We can use the Orchid skill here. And we're gonna need some DPS on the left side. We're gonna bring in Lava to support Beagle. We can also use Ethan skill there. Make sure everything is in order. We get more DP from Myrtle. We can bring in Steward for some extra DPS. And we can work on getting our healers on the ground. We're gonna have Hibiscus as well as Anzal, as soon as we get enough DP. Okay. So we have our Fiala skill here. We use the Orchid and Ethan, so we can use Fiala here. We're gonna get more DP from Mural, and we can use a Fiala skill here. Very good. Now, uh, okay, so we did have um, Beagle there with a big stack, but we do have a Lava with her skill there, so that will be it. I'm gonna take out Myrtle there, although sh she could block for us, but we do have Gravel in here, so might as well use Gravel first, since uh, she has that quick redeployment. And we also have uh, Melantha, we have Cardigan as our extra defender there. And we should be good to go. Uh, one thing about this setup is uh, uh, the interaction there with Ethan and Eafiala. Eafiala, she's a bit on the left side, so if Ethan binds in the wrong spot, Eafiala may not be able to reach, so that could be a problem here. And in the meantime, we have a lava skill there. Gotta make sure nothing passes through Beagle. We do have one operator we can deploy if things go sour. So here we have some binds from Ethan, which is really nice at this time because we don't really need to do anything else. So Beagle, she's got three on her, but um, Lava will make short work out of them. Okay, so we need a Fiala skill here and let's see. So we have that one bind on the red katana and a Fiala, as you can see, she is not hitting her, hitting him because she is a bit too far away. Meantime, on the left side, we're gonna bring in uh, Melantha because we have a couple of mages in there and they can be quite problematic and we're gonna use our skills there and we are good. Uh, the red katana boy, he did not take damage from a Fiala S3 or at least not as much as we would have wanted him to so this is gonna be a bit difficult here so what we're gonna do we're just gonna throw in gravel and we are good to go and uh, do take notice that we do have two hp seals here so we can let one red katana go through which is what's gonna happen here actually because we're not gonna have enough here we have a big wave coming in and we don't have any skills to use we're gonna have Orchid here, but it's it's not gonna be enough. If Yala, she's nowhere ready. I think uh, we used, yeah, we should have used her skill a lot earlier than that to make sure she charges her skill in time. But as you can see, we can throw in our uh, additional operators. We had Cardigan in there. We can throw in Gravel. Uh, what else we even had middle there and then everything should go down 
fairly easily except for this one red katana which again can just uh, let him go through and <laughs> trying to catch him with melantha there but no luck and we do survive with one hp seal and we get the riskate clear done so there it is level eight completed and that's it team and the five contracts hope you guys enjoyed this clear if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time have a good one and take care